For the longest time, I was known as the veggie bacon guy. I did every kind of bacon. I made bacon from mushrooms. I made bacon from a radish, the daikon radish, probably one of my all-time favorite veggie bacons. I made bacon from rice paper. I made it from seitan, vital wheat gluten. I've made bacon from just about everything, including carrot bacon. Now recently, carrot bacon has taken the internet by storm because of a viral video from Tabitha Brown where she made carrot bacon on TikTok. Her carrot bacon is pretty similar to the bacon that I've made in the past, almost the same ingredients, minus one or two, um, but her method might have been just a little different, enough for the internet to just kind of go wild over it. So today, that's what I want to try. I want to try out Tabitha Brown's carrot bacon. I'm going to follow her recipe to a T, including using the air fryer, and let's see how this bacon, carrot bacon, comes out. I think it's going to be pretty good because, like I said, I've had it in the past. Mine was just a just a touch different. So the carrot bacon is really easy. You're just gonna need two carrots. Now I have two different size carrots. If you buy just a pack of carrots, just pick out your two fattest carrots. I think that's gonna be the best thing for this. But all we're gonna use is a speed peeler. Now I already washed these carrots. All we're gonna have to do is just use the speed peeler and peel off some strips of carrots. Now the first one's probably not even gonna get used, but just go ahead and use the second one and go and so forth. And you're also gonna to wanna to press fairly hard to get a thicker strip, otherwise it's gonna be way too thin. Okay, so out of the one carrot, I got quite a bit of carrot strips. And you could see the strips actually have some nice coloring and striping to them, very similar to bacon. I think that's one nice thing that gives the carrot at least a look quality of bacon to it is because of that striping. I'm not even gonna peel this second carrot because it's not needed. Look at all of this, this is a ton. So I know Tabitha's recipe says two carrots, but we're just gonna do one carrot. So for the next part, we gotta put together our seasoning. So for our seasonings, it's almost identical to my recipe, maybe not quantities, but it is missing one part, so I'm really curious to see how this comes out. But we're gonna be using some maple syrup. We're gonna do about a third of a cup. Ooh, I had almost exactly the right amount of that. We're gonna do one teaspoon of smoked paprika, half teaspoon garlic powder, and one of my favorite ingredients, I add it to quite a bit of my bacons. It really gives it that bacon flavor. Half of a teaspoon of liquid smoke. Now Tabitha's recipe had an onion powder that had like a black, it was like onion black pepper powder. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just gonna throw in some fresh cracked black pepper. Now like I said, my recipe is pretty similar. The only difference is, is I add soy sauce. So this is quite a different beast here, you know, when you're talking about all of the seasonings that are involved. And I bet you it still comes pretty close because the things that really give it that bacony flavor is the smoked paprika and the maple syrup. Those two things are the key ingredients. So I just wanna give this a taste. The, the garlic didn't really mix in too hot, like it kinda of clumped up in the syrup here. I still think that's okay. Just wanna give it a taste and let's see if we got the magic right. Okay, well I'll be honest, this doesn't taste like my bacon sauce. Let's, let's see what happens once we add it to the carrot. It might actually still come out really good. So let's just toss these carrots in. We're just gonna kinda just make sure that they're nice and evenly coated and let them sit in this bacony flavor sauce. Let's see what happens once these guys sit in here for a little bit. They might really kinda bacony up. I don't know yet. So let's let them sit up for just about two minutes. We're gonna get our air fryer ready. That's what Tabitha uses. I wanna make sure that I do this exactly the same as her. Hey gang, I wanna tell you a little bit of about today's sponsor, Green Chef. Green Chef is a meal kit subscription service that is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable with plans to fit every kind of lifestyle. Their meal plans include paleo, plant powered, vegan and vegetarian, keto, balanced living, and family. Their recipes are quick and easy with clear instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you along the way. And it's easy to eat well and discover new recipes that you are going to love to cook. They have a wide variety of high quality, clean ingredients, so you can feel great about what you're eating and how it got to your table. So I have to say, I've made quite a few Green Chef meals and every time they deliver as promised, these meals are delicious and they're super easy to make. Mm. Every time, every meal I've done with Green Chef, absolutely wonderful. So make sure you head over to greenchef.us slash sauce 60 to redeem and for more details. That is greenchef.us slash sauce 60. Thanks Green Chef, I am always loving the Green Chef meals. 
So we're gonna preheat our air fryer to 380 degrees. I know Tabitha uses like a spray oil, but I, I don't have any spray oil right now. I should have grabbed some. Uh, so let's just go ahead and wipe this guy. And then we're going to work these in one layer at a time. So this is gonna take probably a few batches. Throw these guys in five minutes. We're gonna give it a start, let them roll up, crisp up, and see if they turn into and see if they turn into a carrot bacon. Okay, so we let these guys cook. We put them on a paper towel to kind of like crisp up. We have our bacon strips here. Look at these things. Look at them. Bacon. Carrot bacon, I should say. There it is. So let's give it a try. Baby, do you want to grab a piece of bacon? Not a soft piece, kind of like the fatty piece. Does it taste like bacon? Yeah, it does. It has a carroty bacon taste, but it definitely, it definitely tastes like bacon. I feel like there's more carrot than bacon. I think in a sandwich it would work as a thing or like a salad mm -hmm. topper. Mm -hmm. I want to try a more crispy piece. Yeah, do a crispy piece, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's still carroty bacon. Like it almost tastes like, it could be like, you know how there's sweet potato fries? It could be yeah. like sweet potato bacon or something. But yeah. It's like carrot. But carrot. Mm -hmm. What do you think is better? The daikon bacon or the carrot bacon? Daikon. Daikon sure. bacon. That, that tastes like, just like bacon. Tabitha Brown, if you are watching, which I hope you are, that would be really cool. If you're watching, try out my daikon bacon. Follow that recipe. There's a few things in that my secret sauce that are a little bit harder to find. It's not as easy. Your recipe is incredibly easy and it's, it's quite wonderful. But try out that daikon bacon. I would love to know what you think because I'll tell you, that tastes like bacon, legit bacon. That's it. Today's video is sponsored by Green Chef.